Okay, so uh, I'm getting a lot of well, not a lot, but when I when I get a hold of somebody that they they have real estate property, they'll say, uh, I'll say, is there any real estate property involved in this estate that you might need some help with? And they'll say something like, uh, oh, it's sold, oh, it's under control, and it's very cursed, and it's very tight, you know. And I'm sensing they've been beat up by investors over the three weeks, maybe or more, that uh, since the probate case uh, hit the public. So. You know, when I that to me is almost like a hitting a brick wall. What's a good question to ask them when they said, "Hey, it's sold," or "It's uh, well, we we've got it under control." You know, uh, what's a good way to come back at that? And because I don't blame them when they're saying it's sold, I've just been saying uh, thank you for your time and moving on. But uh, yeah, I mean, if, if your gut's telling you that it's not really sold, it's probably not. I think you you sound like you've done enough prospecting, but. And I would say, oh, okay, well, but uh, you know, I, I understand. Just want to make sure you understand, you know, what we do and, and kind of why we reached out in the first place, just in case you or somebody you know could could benefit from what we do. Uh, we actually have a team of people who specialize in helping people's families navigate the probate process. So whether that means selling a home quickly for cash, or doing a full renovation, or just getting it ready for the conventional market, you know, we've got the everything in place to get that done in the shortest amount of time for the most amount of money. So. If anything changes or there's anyone else you know we could help, please ask the letter along, and, and we'd love the opportunity to work with them. If, if they were BSing, they're going to say, all right, well, bud, listen, we haven't really sold it. Just all these damn investors keep you know, bothering us, and we get all this stuff, and we just lost that, and, and they'll, they'll butt wide open. Like once you, and that's what I call a probate USP, your unique selling proposition, once you can get that out there and you can articulate a value and, and the options that you provide, People just melt, and they will unload, and you'll get the entire story. And some of them you'll find, yes, they probably did sell it because they sold it before the death to cover medical bills or whatever. But the ones that yeah. are BS, I think that you'll find if you just get really good at getting your kind of your value statement out there and reminding them why you reached out in the first place, once they understand you're coming from the right place and you're a different class of professional, you can offer a lot more than the we buy houses, the yellow letters that are on the coffee table. The mm -hmm. conversation changes. Okay, that's good. I really like that. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll do that. I did say yesterday, uh, saying, okay, just out of curiosity, I bumped into some investors. Did you sell it wholesale or did you sell it on the retail MLS market? You know, that seemed to help a little bit. And they said, okay, we sold it MLS. We sold it in a couple of days. And so it turned out it was legitimate in that one out of four. But the other three, I was really smelling a rat. If you corner those other three with that question, you're you're just going to further ignite that situation. So take a softer approach and just offer. Here's what here's why I do this. What I do. If there's anybody you know, and give them the opportunity to speak up and say, and, and I've had this happen, and and they'll just say, you know what? I, I'm just frustrated. It's it's you know all these damn letters are coming up, and these people have been offering me fifty cents on the dollar, and I, and then affirm and be empathetic and say, you know, that there's a place for investor offers. And that's one of the things we can, we can look at with you. I mean, we work with a, a book of cash investors and, and we can bring an offer quickly and probably with more legitimate than some that you've heard. But there's a lot of other things that we can sit down and show you, you know, the possibility. And really at the end of the day, it depends on your goals and we'll let you make the choice on how we can best serve you guys. So I've got a spot on Friday. We try to meet on Fridays and Mondays to look at property. Um, what would Friday at three work for you? And just go straight to the appointment, and then you can back to all the details. But if you can kind of get that moving in the right direction and, you know, talk about how you can benefit them, I think you'll find that the other three, I, I bet you one of those three will step up and vent their frustration. And once they do that, you're building rapport and so on. That's very good. I, I really like your uh, demeanor and the way you're approaching that. I'll have to listen to this recording a few times, but I, I do like that. Thank you.